everybody. This is RJ's Crocheting Corner. My name is Linda. I'm your host. And in today's video, I am going to go over some Mary Maxim kits with you. I've had these kits for probably three years now and haven't done any of them. So what I want to do is I want to show you the kits, show you the pattern, and then I want you to tell me or let me know if you think I should do the pattern with the yarn provided. Should I do it with different yarn or... Should I not do the pattern and use something else? Um, use the yarn for a different project. So, let's go over some of these. Now, the first one I got, and it came in, actually, it's not the first one, but this one I got came in a cloth bag. Normally, they come in plastic bags, zipper bags. But in this one, we got, looks like, um... Headband, cow, scarf, and wrist warmer. Headband, wrist warmer. Half and half set. It's here. And the yarn that, that came with is this Mary Maxim Baby Plush. And I got it in two colors, a pink and a gray. And these are, like I said, it's Mary Maxim Baby Plush. It's a number six, super bulky. I recommend a 6.5 millimeter knitting needles. Doesn't say crochet needles, crochet hook. Um, it is made in China, 109 yards, 100 meters, uh, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 100% polyester. Says machine wash on delicate setting in cool water, dry and low heat. And like I said, I have I'm in pink and gray, and I have looks like three pink and three gray. And like I said, this is a pattern it comes with. Like a, sc a scarf, a cowl, headband, wrist warmers. I'm not really into using this kind of yarn for those. I like to use this kind of yarn for um, plushies, amigurumi. So, this one I think I will do something different other than the pattern. But that was that one. Let's see. Now this one is um, a beach bag blanket. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Let's open it up. Check out the pattern. Okay. It's a beach bag blanket. And then when you undo it, it actually turns into a blanket. And this is um, using, they sent Lion Brand Licka. Here, I have six skeins of it. And this is in the colorway Sidewalk. And let's see, Lion Brand is, um, the Flicka is a 50% cotton, 50% polyester. There is so 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 196 yards, 179 need, needles or meters. Sorry, recommends a oh, it's a size three, and it recommends a small print, 4.5 knitting needles and a five. I think it's five. I think it's a five millimeter crochet hook. And I have, like I said, six of these. And it is, and you use actually a five millimeter crochet hook. Considered an intermediate pattern. And 
And it's kind of different. I don't care for the color of the yarn. I have a bunch of other cotton yarn. I have a lot of um, Karen cotton cakes and other Conflicta is almost just like the comfy cotton from Lamb Brand. And I have some solid colors in that. I'm not sure if you think it'd look better in a solid color or a different color than this. But I'm not really fond of this color. So let me know what you think on this one. Should I use this yarn? Different color, different pattern. Um, get the pattern back in there. We'll fold it. That'll get it in there. All right. That's number two. Number three is another beach bag. This is a spiral bag. Let me take the pattern out so you can see it better. spiral bag it's a intermediate pattern and we are using knitting forever painted cotton pure giz giz of cotton in the colorway she shell city well I'll let you see it And those are some pretty colors of pinks, browns, white. You know, some really light, maybe purple in that. Really pretty color. So, like I said, 100% cotton, 7.5 ounces, 200 grams, 357 meter, or yards, 327 meters. It's a three lightweight. So let's see. Suggested um, knitting needles, they say a 3.75 to a 4.5 millimeter. And crochet hook is either a 4.5 to 5.5 hooks. It's made in Turkey. Like I said, it's pretty color. And I have two of those. And like I said, it's calls for this bag. Let me know, should I make the bag with this yarn or use a different yarn or not make the bag and use the yarn for something else? I'm not really sure. Three, number four. This one is a um, shawl pattern. This one, they also sent us. Eh, here's my little, my little helper here. She's always here with me. Her name's Tiki. He hadn't seen her before. They also send us another cloth bag. Mary, it says Mary Maxim. Drawstring. That was in there. And then here's the pattern. It's called the Sundown Shaw. Like that. Um, it's a, it's, they say it's an intermediate pattern. And they sent... Now I like this one. They sent... Premier Coffee Shop. Um, and it's pretty fall colors. And I think that would look good. Let me, let me open one of these because they are pretty colors. Hadn't even opened these yet either. This is pretty. It 
in this pretty color. And let's see, Premier Coffee Shop, it's 284 yards, 260 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It's 85% acrylic, 15% wool. It's a lightweight number three. Uh, machine wash, warm, lay flat to dry. Um, knitting needles, a four millimeter, and crochet hook, a 4.25. Um, this is made in Turkey. And they sent three of them. So, this one I actually think I will make. Because it's pretty color and kind of like the shawl that they're making too. Very pretty. Be nice in the fall. And then cool nights. Because I live in... Um, I live in northern Indiana, so it does get cool here in the fall. We have that. Okay, let's see. Alright, this one kind of didn't make no sense. I sent through two different kinds of yarn, but I guess I never really looked at the pattern. Let's see. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, you can make two different, two different things. They have summer accessories. This one's a cotton scarf. Right there. And then on the inside, it is a, like a little short poncho, they call it. I don't really like that. Nothing I would wear. And for the the Shaw, they sent Ella Ray Sun Sun Kiss Speckled Pure Cotton in the colorway. Let's see if it's got a colorway. Canary Island. And there's that colorway. It's pretty. Um, let's see. I've never had Ella Ray before. Let's see. A little one went down, I think. Let me put him down. Her down. Um, kind of hard. It's a 100 gram ball. 262 yards. 240 meters. It's a number three lightweight. Knitting needle 3.75 to 4.5 uh, millimeter and crochet hook is a 4.5 to 5.5. And this is made in, uh, made in Italy. Now that would be pretty for, um, for that cotton scarf, just like a little wrap around. Now for the half of the, what do they call it? Half poncho? Short poncho. They sent Mary Maxim Simply Natural. And this is in the colorway. Uh, don't give me a color. So it's color No, it doesn't give a color. Let's see if this one does. I give it two balls. No, it doesn't really give a color on it. But this is 52% cotton, 48% bamboo. It's uh, 245 yards, 224 meters, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, made in Turkey. And it is considered a number three. And they just give me a knitting needles of a four millimeter. And I sent two of those. So this I will have to work into something else. If you have any ideas, so like I said, this is a number three. Um, 245 yards, so 490 
yards of a number three. If you think of something simple, I could make that. That would look nice in the cotton bamboo. Leave, leave it in the comments below. But I think I will make the scarf out of that. Okay, next one. Here's another one with two different kinds of yarn. What, baby? What's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? Okay. So this one, we got two different kinds. And you don't care for the colors. And we are making... They don't match whatsoever. Ella... Ella's Lace Scarf and Fancy Fingerless Mittens. And this is actually the colors they sent. And you've got two separate colors. They don't even match. I should have sent either enough to do the scarf and the mitts in the same color. So you, cause you can't wear that as a set. So that's kind of silly. So I don't know if I'll do that. I don't like, I don't wear fingerless mitts. So it's full of show the yarn. Here's the yarn for the fingerless mitts, and it's Fair Isle Willow um, in the colorway Greenfields. There's different colors of green. Got a little brown in there. Some yellow. Pretty colors. I don't mind green. But I would not make the fingerless gloves in that. So, and this is a 290 yards, 3.5 ounces, 665 meters, 100 gram ball, 75% superwash wool, and 25% viscose from bamboo, made in China, and it is a number three lightweight. I recommend a 4 millimeter knitting needles and a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So, that's kind of a Really small three, I think. I don't know about you, but that seems like a really thin three. If you think of anything I could use this one for, let me know. Because I am not going to make those those mitts. I don't wear fingerless mitts. So, I don't know what. Oh, 200 and, what did I say? 290 yards of a number three. What I could make out of that. But if you have any ideas, let me know. And then, like the other one, this is for the scarf. What, baby? I just picked you up and you want it down. Huh? This is, um, this is Ella Ray Hunique. This is a colorful virgin wool blend. And, you know, pretty fall colors. So I might make that scarf out of it or something different. I'm not really it's awful open scarf. I mean it wouldn't be very warm, at least not here in northern Indiana. So I could probably make a cow or um something out of this that would be nice. This is like I said I, these tags are hard to read. It is 50% wool, 50% acrylic. It's 3.52 ounces, 100 grams, 175 yards, 160 meters. It's a number five bulky. I recommend a 5.5 to 8 millimeter knitting needles and a 6.5 to a 9 millimeter crochet hook. And this is made in it's Villa Verda. And this is made in Italy. And I have two of these. So I ought to be able to make a, a cowl or small shawl out of that. Just considering it's a bulky five. It's just a small, you know, wrap around scarf or something. So I like this color. I just don't like the patterns. So if you think of something to use for these two yarns, or have a pattern, that'd be great. Alright, 
Got four more to go. Okay, this one here. You know, this one I'll probably do. This is a baby blanket. Let's see. This is called a slanted baby blanket. It's an intermediate. It's pretty. I don't know about the slantedness in it. But we could try it. I don't know what it would be like. And it is using Mary Maxim's Sugar Baby Stripes. And it's blue and white. Um, this is color in blueberry ice. And it is a number three. Recommend a four millimeter crochet hook and a four millimeter knitting needles. This is uh, 200, approximately 295 yards, 270 meters. It's 100% acrylic, 100 gram ball, three and a half ounces, and is made in Turkey. And I have, they sent four of them. So I could make a baby blanket out of that. I know my sister just became grandma, but I can't, not sure. I believe it's a girl doll. My youngest sister. But I could make my great nephew a blanket. He's still only six months, even though I got him one going. All right. Yeah, this one is a colorful, called a colorful poncho. Fits most ladies. Well, I don't know about most. I am a little heavy. I'm on the heavy set side. So I don't know if it'll fit me, but it might fit somebody. But this is the crochet, the poncho. Looks like you gotta do some assembling, some weird assembling. It's the back of it. This is using Mary Max or Mary Maypole Euro Baby Maypole DK. Made in China from Euro yarns. And it's a hundred percent polyester. It's a 3.52 ounce ball, 100 gram, 262 yards, 240 meters. It's a number four. Suggested needle is, knitting needle is four to five. And suggested crochet hook is a 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter knee. Yeah, it is, like I said, Euro Baby Maypole DK. Made in China from Euro yarns called Sail Away. And this has got a little texture. Kind of reminds me of homespun in a way. But it's got. Oops, my tag's coming out. It's got some like purplish brown in there, some white. It's got other colors in there. Let's see. Let's see some more over here. Blues, greens. It's a pretty color. That's, yeah, it looks the color of the poncho. And they sent me four of them. So, do you think this would be a good pattern for this yarn? Or should I do... A different kind of yarn for this pattern or or use this yarn for something else or not do the pattern at all let me know in the comments I'll keep repeating myself but let me know in the comments okay this one that's a wrap this is the Bella Wrap. It's a Bella.
bella wrap. Very pretty. This is using Red Heart Unforgettable. And I have five balls. Like I said, Red Heart Young Unforgettable. And these colors look like the same colors in the picture. Very pretty fall colors again. And in case you don't know about Unforgettable, it is... This is a 3.5 ounce ball, 100 grams, 270 yards, 240 meters. Um, considered a number four. They recommend a 5 millimeter knitting needles and a 6 millimeter crochet hook. It's 100% acrylic. Machine wash and dry. Um, and it's made in... Made in Turkey. So again, they sent me five balls. Like I said, they're pretty colors, pretty fall colors. And the wrap is pretty. So, yeah, I think I'll actually make that one. I'll attempt to make that one. And the last one. Yeah, this one I know I won't make. I can tell you that right now. It's a lunar tunic. And Lord, no, I wouldn't. It's a, a your inspiration pattern. I don't know if this, yeah, it had to be a Mary Maxim, but I'm not. No, this might have been a. I don't know. If this was a kit I bought from Yarn Inspiration or it says there's enough yarn to make a tunic in any size up to a 1X. Well, I wear bigger than a 1X, so that won't work. So we'll have to, you guys will have to help me on something else. But this is the tunic. It's pretty and all, but it's not something I would wear. And it is using, it's a uh, red heart, it's a wrap rainbow. Let's see. And this is in the colorway. Any colorway in here? Couture, I put here. Might be the. Is it a focus? Black in my face. I don't know if it'll focus. Oh, there it goes. That's the colorway. Looks like it's black and gray and teal color and a little bit of white. That's that. Where it's like, what is this, four strands? Yeah, four strands of yarn. And then you can, it's a number one. And let's see some info on it. it has 55% acrylic, 45% cotton, 623 yards, 570 meters, 5.29 ounce, and 150 grams. I showed you the color. Made in Turkey. So it's a number one. They recommend four millimeter crochet hook and a 3.75 knitting needles. Machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, dry flat, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. And I have three of them. Like I said, I'm not going to make that pattern at all. So if you think of one, maybe, um, maybe a shawl, a nice lace, lace weight shawl that's really flowy. Would look nice. If you have any patterns, you know, drop the link below or let me know. And like I said, I'm not going to make that. The pattern that it came with. Okay. That is all my kits. I do have 
knit crate kits, you know, knit kit crate with their pattern. I haven't done any of those. I had the Lisa Co. Um, box. I haven't done any of those. So, I need to start working on some. And it's just like all of the Hobby Lobby Hanks that were on clearance this last time. I bought a ton of those. And I need to come up. These are what these are ones. Need to come up with patterns for those. And I have a bunch. I use I bought two of each color though. So if you know of any good patterns for let's see how many yards are in here. 400 yards. So 800 yards of a number one. Uh, let me know. And I'd like to start using some of those up. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe, like, and share my video. And until next time, have a good night. Bye.